You made it, my friend. Wonderful. About what happened in the church, did you get what you'd hoped for? Yes, although bloodshed was not part of my plan. But apparently, such was God's will. But I'm sure we saved an innocent soul because God is with me. I have the power to heal. Time will tell, of course. Why didn't you help me when they locked me up in the citadel? God is my witness. Did I not send Lazarev to find you? Did they ask you anything during your captivity? I didn't say anything against you, if that's what worries you. It's good to know I can still count on your loyalty. It's good that you're here. That God guided you to me again. What's the occasion? Do you want to thank me for something again? Not today. Today, all of you gathered at this table are equally important. I want to celebrate you with this humble supper. I hope you'll join us. Did you invite the press? My sermon must have made quite an impression on her. Good. Tell me more about this occasion. What do you want to know? Who can I expect to see at this supper? It's difficult to mention everyone. My flock keeps growing, but people are different. Strong, wise, weak, dumb. Some stumble and never get back on. They will be missed today. I pray for their souls. What's important is that you came back. You went to a lot of trouble to prepare this supper. To what purpose? I wanted to meet, to talk, to show my gratitude to those of you who have persevered on the path of truth and stand with me despite adversity. Bless you. The corner near the brothel. It was cozier at the Nadazhinsky's. But today, we wouldn't all fit. Look around and see how many believers we've gained. Are you saying that they were attracted by the miracle at the church? Of course. And the brothel is as good a place as any other. Better even. Here, lust trumps propriety and the nakedness is a symbol of truth. We're celebrating truth here today. Truth in community. That will do. So, will you join us now? Grigori, we have to talk. That sounded serious. And one should sit down before discussing serious matters. Perhaps during supper. Uh, will you join me? All right, I'll stay. And what do you plan to do after supper? God created a world and placed a beautiful garden within it in the east. Then, he placed a man there. The plan is for us to meet in paradise as well, because there we will get that which we deserve, my friend. No more, no less. Do you recall our conversation over your father's grave, when I asked who you feel you are? Yes, I replied that I am defined by thaumaturgy. And I promised you all of the Empire's thaumaturgic knowledge. And it will be so. So help me God. I believe in what you promised me. Amen. We'll talk more about the future soon, my friend. But my bladder's calling. And Victor, I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he.
People, give me water! Is he dead? I've got you. It's okay. Is this what death is like? An infinite void? Where? Where am I? Is this hell? Well, I could have seen it coming. I'm telling Mom, all you temperate turges are crazy. And the teacher said, Victor, is the right here in the classroom with us right now? <laughs> I almost pissed myself. Cozy. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. I'm the head of this family, and I deserve respect. You'll put me in an early grave. This is the end. You've lost. Did you not hear what I said? This is the end. Has death come for me and dragged me to hell if I can still see you? Hell must wait until a verdict is reached. And a verdict requires a trial. What trial? Is this some sort of court? Barbarit. Yes. A trial over the conscience of Viktor Shulsky. Of what do I stand accused? And what weighs on your conscience? You're a thaumaturge. As was your father, your grandfather, and your great-grandmother. You've always thought of yourself as better than others because of that. I've never felt special because of who I am. My power also reminds me daily of the disappointment I felt after you disposed of me instead of protecting me. Rubbish. I always understood you and did everything to protect us, at any cost. You're a fool if you still don't understand. Your pride won't let you admit that your truth may not be the only one. You were never unwanted. And the Black Grimoire, you always coveted it. And behold, according to the last will, it's yours. Do you think this means you've never meant anything? Have you changed your mind? Are you ashamed of your past glibness? I guess it's not a crime to change your views, right? 
Not at all. Go on. I'm not finished. It's all right. We have all the time in the universe. Your twin sister. Despite not having your power, she was only ever kind to you in this cruel world. She was genuinely happy to have you come back to her. She was alone here. Very noble of you, but is there room for a caring sister in your plans for the future? I don't think so. Soon you will be left alone again, and in time, no one will remember you. Do you mean to say that you don't care? Supposedly, we only live as long as someone remembers us. After that, all traces of us disappear. Go on. It's not over. Certainly. So, what's next? A clay colossus. A beautiful, destructive force. The threat you visited upon us. Yes. And do you understand why? Good. So you understand that every victory requires sacrifice. And the end only justifies the means. Ultimately, the golem rests at your side. Correct? I regret how the business with the Golem ended. You mean how you ended it? That's enough. Accusations and evidence have been presented, and witnesses as well as jurors have expressed their opinions. Are you ready to hear the verdict? What do you think the trial has revealed? It showed me that I always followed my conscience, even if it wasn't always to my benefit. And you think that's the way it should be? Yes. A mature relationship with yourself is based on making compromises, not suppressing your conscience. The verdict is not guilty. But your story does not end here. And it won't end until you begin on one of the paths. Are you talking about Rasputin and the Coterie? There may be other paths available. Which one do you prefer? What do you want to tell me? That you can reach the world following paths less trodden. But now, focus on what's in front of you. So... Why Rasputin? Did he even survive? I believe what he preaches. I believe there is something unusual about him. Then you reject what was meant for you. You reject your father's way. Are you happy with events taking this course? Yes, I want this. So, remember what it is you're feeling now, when the time for the trial comes. And you, what would you do in my place? I died beneath that tenement house. What you see is an embodiment of your pride, 
conscious or doubt. Those are the things you're arguing with, you don't. You are your own worst enemy. Go now. Let's meet in paradise, the garden near the fountain. You are Peter, a rock, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. I have an idea who the author is, but I don't know how it's possible. I have no idea where to look for this paradise in God. I don't remember how I ended up here. Is it possible that what happened near the brothel was just a dream? You're right. A dream wouldn't hurt like this. I'll think about this later.
Les gars. Christ, don't sneak up on me like that. How do you feel? You took care of me. Thank you. Forget it. I wouldn't have managed it on my own. Grazenka helped me. Are you sure you don't want to rest some more? Where is Grazenka? She left to get some supplies. It's hard to buy anything now, but she left yesterday and still hasn't come back. Maybe she just had to hide somewhere and is waiting. Is everything all right? You look concerned. That's because I am. Whatever is happening on the streets right now, it scares me. Is that why you unearthed Papa's musket? Does it still work? Just now I thought I would find out. Before you woke up, they shot a man on our street. He crawled away somewhere, but he was bleeding so badly. The entire city has gone insane. The Governor General has closed the borders and isn't letting anyone leave. People have barricaded themselves in their homes. Maybe the Russians are waiting for us to kill each other ourselves. And they may be right. Only madmen roam the streets now. I won't let you get hurt as long as I live. I promise. In that case, I wonder how long it will last. Did you intend to inform me that you escaped from the Citadel? I've just risen from the dead. Besides, I didn't want to bother you. At least until I came up with a solution. And how is that going? I'm considering a few options. Give me some time. I'm just worried about you. Besides, I guess I'm most worried about Grazenka right now. Did someone come here when I was asleep? Did we have any visitors? Apart from myself, uncle and Grazenka, I didn't let anyone in. The streets are not safe. Why do you ask? I found an unusual letter on the nightstand about a garden of paradise. What letter? The only garden that's being talked about now is the one at Dolinka Schweizarska. The Tsar and his entourage are planning to have a garden party in a park there. What is this party at Dolinka Schweizarska? The Tsar is celebrating his son's birthday. Would you use the phrase garden in the east to describe Dolinka? In the east? Dolinka is south of here. The only eastern thing about it is its guests. I would never have thought of that. It makes sense. Thank you. Do you know if anything happened to the store? I didn't even want to try to get in there to check. You shouldn't go there right now. This chaos in the city. How long has it been going on? Three days. Uncle brought you here, half dead, three days ago. Do you know what day it is? Hold on. The last day of summer. I'm sorry, I don't have anything for you. You have risen from the dead. That has to be enough for me. At least until Christmas. I thought I'd find you in worse health. I see you once again managed to avoid the consequences of your decisions. I'm afraid I must put a stop to this. You are under arrest for taking part in a conspiracy against the Tsar and engaging in terrorism. You'll also be held accountable for escaping from the Citadel and for your active support of the Socialists, the enemies of the Empire. Your brother didn't bother to mention that, Miss Lenya. You'll be coming with us, Mr. Shulsky. Try and force me, Chief. 
Why do you torment our family? What are you hoping to get out of it? And how the hell did you get the keys to our house? Dear Ligia, please try to understand that it was your brother who brought these dark clouds down upon your family. I'm just trying to disperse them without bloodshed. If you don't resist, I give you my word that no harm will come to your sister. Shall we? You are leaving. Straight to hell, you son of a bitch. If you think you'll take me away from my own home, you are mistaken. No, Chief. We'll finish this year. I didn't receive an invitation, so I decided to drop in on my own. After all, today is a Shulsky family holiday. Mr. Nyajits, Warsaw will get rid of two pests today. We seem to have some unfinished business. Get in line. I'll gladly watch. And because they'll probably botch the job, I just might finish it for them. My way. I won't beg for mercy, if that's what you were hoping for. I had a feeling these incompetent blockheads wouldn't finish the job. It's a good thing I loaded my gun today. You've just been presented with an opportunity to return to the path of righteousness, Mr. Nyanjits. Perhaps you'll... Shut up, ghoul! Friendship is dying here. What are you doing? You should ask yourself, 
You're not there when I need you. You despise my coffee. And you still owe me five rubles. Is this supposed to be friendship? Or what? Not now. Did I choose the wrong moment? Fine. I'll wait. Will you leave my fresh corpse to your sister as a gift? Blood soaks into stone for many long years. A unique birthday gift. Yes, you're a born murderer after all. What are you waiting for? I'm not waiting. Victor. The Shulsky family. We'll never be squared up now. You owe me a debt because I won't give you up. Unless you force me to. Curtain call. Nejitz exits the stage. Silence follows. I guess we have to clean up in here. Yes, it's better that Grezina doesn't see it when she returns. Yes. Done. It doesn't even show. It's as good as it gets. Better than anyone for so many years. You were always with me, and you always will be. We have to talk about our future. Any ideas? I was thinking about our thaumaturge friends. Who will understand better than them? Apart from you, of course. You're right. We both owe a lot to Rasputin. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't even be talking now. But his path, even if it does lead to the Romanov's court, is uncertain. And the price of following it is unknown. Do you think Rasputin could have survived? The letter, yes. But it doesn't decide anything. He could have sent it before visiting the brother. But if he's alive, can we trust him? He may take us to see the Tsar, but what will be the price? On the other hand, if everything works, I can become more powerful than ever. Russia will give me all the knowledge I could ever want. Tough choice, isn't it? Let's not waste any more time. Let's see if our bearded monk is even alive. And let's fight for our position on the Tsar's court. I won't be needing this anymore. Farewell, father. Let's go to paradise. I need a carriage. Is this one free? Sir, they want a bribe from me. Help! Look, Private. This one's even got a book. 
The brass will be happy. Tell these two about their rights. You have none. By virtue of the decree on the martial law, you have been classified as suspicious characters. We will escort you to the Citadel. Unless some sort of a gift convinces us you are innocent. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I need this carriage. And I've been to the Citadel before, and I don't intend to go there again. Captain! This is the magician they're after! Fuck, get him! idea what you did to them, but today I will drive you for free. We just have to be careful. Some of the districts are cut off by the authorities. Still, today's rides are on me. The Tsar is about to give his speech, and you're loafing around? Get to work! No grunt tells me how to be a waiter. Do you want to switch? Attention, we have an audience. Are you lost, sir? Uh, the entrance for guests is on the other side of the park. I think a uniform like this would suit me. Then you have to enlist. There are easier ways. Are you drunk or what? We'll be going then. We're kind of a mess. And we're about to teach you some respect for the uniform.
Not bad. Not bad at all. I haven't been here in a while. Thaumaturgy never fails. Interesting. A familiar face. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Shulsky. Have you started a military career? And as an officer already? I'm doing my best. Please allow me. My fiance, Sofia Georgievna Skawan. Congratulations. I think I can take the credit for your happiness. After all, it was due to my actions at that memorable soiree that you finally found each other. Mr. Shulsky, still unscrupulous, I see. Let me make an observation. It is quite daring of you to show up in a place like this. Sergei, is that a threat? I would say it's a friendly warning. Thaumaturgists shouldn't feel too safe these days. How did you get into His Royal Highness's birthday party? The last time I saw you, you were accompanied by two gentlemen. What happened to them? That too, but above all, my dear Sergei is celebrating his success. Well, tell Victor. I am here to offer counsel to Nikolai Romanov. Recently, I've been included in his advisory body. I've been appointed a member of the city council. I must ask, was it because of your engagement that you got the job? No. My fiancé simply deserved it. Let's go get some champagne, dear. This is getting annoying. Sofia, there is no reason to get upset. Mr. Shulsky was leaving anyway, weren't you? Sergei, miss? Shulsky, you've had an accomplished military career since our last meeting. You do realize that you are still a wanted man? I'm here on a mission. I assume you're here for similar reasons. Rasputin chose me to be the executor of his work. Where were you when Rasputin was blown up along with Antiaja's brothel? I was where he had ordered me to be. I don't question it. And if he told you to organize the explosion, you wouldn't question that either? This is none of your business, Shursky. What part of Rasputin's will are you trying to execute here? I am Yeretel, the Angel of Destiny. I am his sword against false acolytes. Maybe you're one of them. Will you finally act? Or will you keep barking until you're ordered otherwise? I think I outrank you, so... I've already received my orders. Rasputin will never forgive you, and when he returns, he will reward me for bringing you to justice, for I am his hammer that smites the witches.
Nothing can be kept secret from me. I can't eat anymore. Pass. Well, maybe just a piece of... Uh... Maria? What? Is it a crime to eat now? Don't pester a pregnant woman, please. Don't you recognize me? Oh, it's you. I've been so distracted lately. You know, being with child and all. Do you believe that Rasputin survived the explosion? He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
he who believes in me shall live forever. But it's a shame about Aniela. Silly woman, she could have been here with us. Oh well. I have to think about someone else now. Congratulations. Who's the lucky father? For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty have done to me great things. Pretty, isn't it? I'll be giving birth to a savior. Grigory loves me more than all of you. Do you think Rasputin is the father? A mother knows these things. But why should I explain it to you? doubt that Rasputin will make a good father. You feel like he's just using you. This child is an accident. After all, Grigory wasn't happy to hear the news of an heir. You're right to be afraid. You see that his promises appear to offer a paradise sanctuary, but in reality, they're an illusion. I... I dread that thought. I will be alone again, against the whole world. So many people hate him. Will his child be hated too? Save yourself. Forget Grigori. I'm sorry. I should be going. I don't feel well. Well, have you enlisted? I didn't think I would see you again. And yet, here you are. I might say the same about you. I thought you wouldn't be in the mood for a party. I am here for Yannick, for Michal, for all of us. Vanda. I wanted to have a powerful thaumaturge as my ally, but you turned out to be a coward. And now? They're both dead. Why are you here, really? What are you trying to do? That's none of your business. Leave me alone, or I'll call the guards. They'll be happy to see a wanted fugitive. This isn't over. That wasn't too hard.
Magdalena. I didn't expect you to show up here. In a Russian uniform, no less. I received a personal invitation from Rasputin. So did I. He summoned me to preach about his second coming. He will return, and with him the hope for chasing away the darkness of an uncertain future, for his grace will be with us. Do you understand? What do you remember from this explosion? Chaos. Blood. It's hard for me to talk about it. What about Aniela and Lucia? They are no longer with us. They are already enjoying the afterlife, awaiting salvation. Do you think they deserved such a fate? Each of us has a different fate in store for them. Aniela was chosen. She died at Grigori's side. And Lucian just disappeared one day. I think he might have left because his fate wasn't strong enough. I don't want to talk about them anymore. I need to have clarity in my heart. Do you believe someone wanted to kill Rasputin? Of course! The first Christians were also thrown to the lions. Satan laid his hand on Grigori and tried to break him. But he will not bend. He will defeat death and return. I see you found your calling in evangelism. My heart is filled with love, so I preach the good news. Let everyone prepare for Grigori's coming. Everything is possible for those who believe. From a poor village to high society, all eyes are turned on you today. I wanted a better life, not a plus, and work to help my mama and papa. And how does standing here in a beautiful dress among the cream of Warsaw society help your parents? Well, I, I don't know. I haven't seen them in a long time and they can't write. What I do, that's not important. All is as it must be. Look around. At first glance, you look like the rest of the guests. But you know full well that you don't belong in this world. These people will never accept you as one of their own. And then Rasputin will abandon you. What use does he have for an apostle who is a burden? I'm not a burden. Go back to your people. All you find here is disappointment and the pain of not being good enough. I tried. I tried so hard. I know. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> Vanda? I told you to leave me alone. I know you have a gun and you want to kill Skawan. I was going to start with Konyechkin, but that coward got rubbed out by some random Genef. So it's Skawan's turn now. I'll kill him and anyone who gets in my way. I'm that Genef. I killed Konyechkin. Then you're one of us now. Help me with Skawan. I've got my own plans for the night, and you might upset my apple cart. I'm here with someone who might be able to help establish new borders for Poland. But in order to do that, we must avoid spilling blood. You mean Rasputin? That false prophet who caused that riot with his words? He's on my list, too. Get out of my way, or I swear to God there will be two dead bodies tonight, not one.
That's it, Vanda. You can't ruin this night for me. Soldiers, over here! Sir? The lady has had too much champagne. Remove her from the party and make sure she doesn't try anything. Yes, sir. Please, come with me, madame. You're dead to me. Friends, today on the birthday of our son and successor, our father's words show the direction of our thoughts. The voice of God orders us courageously to undertake, in deference to divine intention, the task of ruling, with faith in the strength and rightness of autocratic power. We are summoned to reaffirm that power and preserve it for the benefit of the people from any encroachment. Today, as this storm rages in the streets, and evil has penetrated people's souls and settled in them for good, there, there, quiet, Miluta. Не знаю, что происходит. Do not fear. I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Stay where you are, or I'll send you to hell once more. Vasha Imperatorsku Evilichestvo, he's a dangerous man. There's no telling to whom he sold his soul to be here. Nyet! Grigory Efimovich Rasputin, Yasli Shaovas, come closer, please. Blessing upon you, Alexei Nikolaevich. God has brought you back to life to help him. Eto chuda! God sent me to give you a warning. For years I had shared my visions. But you wouldn't listen. And three days ago, I was sentenced to death. Now I stand before you, a humble servant, as God has sent me once again, to save you. If only Vasha Imperatorskoya Vilichesvo would care to listen to me. God bless you, Grigory Efimovich. You have our complete attention, mystic. This is a great honor for me. But I wouldn't be here today if not for someone special. Show yourself. I am here to bear witness to Rasputin's miracles. He has snatched me away from the embrace of death, and I believe he will do the same for the Tsarevich. Look, he is standing here before you. Even though three days ago I was watching him die. This man is a true miracle worker. And who are you, man? 
I knew you wouldn't let me down. Victor Stanislavovich. What? Arrest him! He's a fugitive and a terrorist! Quiet, infidel. This is a converted sinner to whom we should show nothing but mercy. He's a good man, and a loyal acolyte. A sinner, but he has redeemed his guilt as he acted on my behalf, trying to protect me from infidels. People like Skawan. Any last word before we become a legend? Well done. They hang on your every word, especially Tsarina Alexandra. Her faith is unfaltering, like yours. Thank you for believing in me. Ready to celebrate success? I've never asked you before, but how exactly do your abilities work? What's the point of knowing if they work? I'm not a thaumaturge, if that's what you're asking. So you won't tell me? Victor, not everything can be comprehended. Sometimes you must trust and believe. Ready for the happily ever after? Remember what I want. I want all the knowledge. Access to the oldest and most secret archives of the Empire. Don't worry. With my visions and your power, the whole new century will be ours. Ready? I'm ready. And jittery. Am I wrong? Great. So welcome, Tsar Nikolai Romanov's court thaumaturge. Welcome to the new reality, my friend. The great Russia needs people like him. Powerful and capable thaumaturges. That kind of power is worth having by your side. I know what I'm talking about. If the mystic says so, then so be it. We consider this man's trespasses non-existent. Tsarskoye Cielo will accept the Taumaturg, if that's your will. What do you say, my friend? Your Imperial Majesty, it's an honor. I vow to loyally serve you personally and all of Russia. So help you, God. I believe what we've just witnessed here is a harbinger of good changes. Together, we will secure a strong and healthy future for us all. And now, let's celebrate. Long live Alexei, my son. Long live Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. Long live me. Are you busy? I'm just offering a short prayer. God will forgive. What brings you to me? I came to say goodbye. I'm leaving. So suddenly? Even the Rasputitsa won't keep you here? I'm afraid not. Such an opportunity may not come again. Would you care to reveal some of the mystery to me? Manchuria calls to me. What is it you're going to chase halfway around the world so suddenly? There is something going on in there that I think may be the work of a powerful salutar. Your appetite isn't waning. How will you endure the journey back with such pain? Relax. There are places in the Middle Kingdom that can help me. Be careful. Time for me to go. Ride me. Victor. Do me a favor and buy some of their patent medicines for me. Send me a list. Be well. Go with God, my friend. They say your choices define your value. What does that make me? I burned the black grimoire and deserted those who had counted on me. I chose Rasputin. I chose myself. And the coterie? It never came into being. 
I suspect its would-be members went their separate ways, and I don't suppose they think fondly of me. Ligia is in St. Petersburg with me. I thought she could start over here, but without her ambition, she has become apathetic and insecure. We talk less and less, and I'm ashamed to admit I prefer it that way. I hardly recognize her. Uncle Sasha is enjoying his longed-for retirement. Sometimes I visit him for a game of chess. I'm yet to win. The circumstances of the Warsaw Ochrana chief's death have never been clarified, and hopefully it will stay that way. And what about Abaurizzi? I've got a letter from him with a detailed description of the torture I will be subjected to should I return to Warsaw. Sounds almost like a challenge. The situation in the city is tense. Warsaw has been divided between those seeking a bloody revolution and those who'd rather see cooler heads prevail. The stalemate will not last long. The fisherman of Povishna has not been captured. The locals still find bodies on the riverbanks, but no one is surprised anymore. The neighborhood is falling into a strange kind of apathy. As for the flying university, the idea faded and died in the Ukraina cells where the rebellious students were locked up. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend.